Impossible Dream Catamaran is a wheelchair accessible sailboat. She was designed from the keel up to be universally accessible. Our mission, to raise awareness for barrier-free design and through sailing, improve the lives of those with disabilities. We sail with a mixed ability crew and each year we take out over a thousand people for day sails. This year, we want you to be part of our virtual adventure. Welcome aboard. Impossible Dream has made it to Boston, Massachusetts. We're here docked in Charlestown at Charlestown Marina. They do a beautiful job of making their marina accessible with long wide ramps and floating docks. Today, we're gonna to take you with us on the short and very accessible walk from the dock all the way to Spalding Rehab Hospital here in Charlestown. This is our view from the boat. You can see Spalding just off to the right. It's super amazing to be this close to one of our partner hospitals. It allows us to take people out sailing who are still in inpatient rehab. On a normal year, when we take out our groups from Spalding, we have patients walk or roll straight from the rehab gym to the boat. These patients come with their therapists and sometimes family members. And for some of them, it's their first time outside of the hospital since their injury. We'll talk more about patient experiences on board later. But for now, let's go upstairs and meet some of our friends here at Spalding. My name is David Stordo, and I have the great privilege and honor of being the president um, here at Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital in the Charlestown section of Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Kara Brickley. I'm the director of inpatient rehab at Spalding Boston. When the impossible a dream arrives every summer, it's a really, it's an activity that we really look forward to, um, especially with the therapeutic rec department and being able to coordinate patient visits out on the boat and um, getting staff and patients out on the boat. It's really something that everybody looks forward to every single summer. The therapists from all of the departments talking it up to all of their patients and trying to identify people who want to go out onto the boat. The impossible dream is uh, obviously just a, a whole incredible um, you know, experience for our patients when they're able to get out onto the water and for other people in the community here who are wheelchair users and mobility impaired. Um, and so the relationship, you know, has kind of become one of just being very aligned in the mission of, of Shake a Leg and Impossible Dream with, with Spalding's mission. Um, I do believe I've seen pictures of people out on the very front of the boat um, working on various things during that time that they're out there. So, um, it, you know, everybody looks as an opportunity to continue to be creative with what they're working on with the patients and um, uh, just a nice way for patients to try to work on simple things that they're doing, sitting balance, activity tolerance, uh, just being upright, um, and it's a unique way to do it. Having people to get out onto the impossible dream helps them to work on those things in a, a more fun way than um, some of the everyday treatment sessions that we do. And the patients love it when they come back, even some of the ones that might be a little bit tentative about going on the boat and not sure how they're really gonna feel, just when they come back, just this sense of um, how much fun that they have had. Um, so with whatever they're dealing with in terms of their recovery from their injuries or trying to get back into their um, everyday activities, uh, just being able to have that moment of fun, it's just a really special thing that we can do for the patients. It's about the relationship um, now as well as the alignment of our missions. And so we keep in touch throughout the year, um, kind of anticipating uh, the summer when the impossible dream will again come to, to Boston as part of its uh, uh, East Coast adventure. It really is um, a time of the year that we really do look forward to. Um, the staff, and I know in particular the therapeutic rec department, really um, always look forward to the impossible dream coming in the summertime uh, for just what it provides to the patients. Uh, not only in terms of just different activity levels, but just this whole uh, sense of yeah, you can continue to do your activities no matter what you're trying to uh, work through for your injury. Um, nothing can stop, you know, there's, there's nothing that would stop you from continuing to do uh, what you want to be able to do and activities you want to get back to. And the impossible dream really demonstrates that to people. So. Um, I've had the good fortune finally of getting down to Miami and um, 
seeing shake a leg, which really, you know, just kind of blew me away. I had some sense as to what was going on there, but it was um, so much more uh, expansive and incredible than I even anticipated. One of the things that most fundamentally aligns Spalding Hospital with the Impossible Dream is that they are both built from the ground up to be wheelchair accessible. While more often than not, things are modified, changed, or adapted to be accessible to wheelchair users, the Impossible Dream and Spalding have shared this fundamental goal since their inception. This is universal design, which is something that is very important to us on Impossible Dream. We asked David and Kara to explain a little more about what makes the Spalding Rehab Building itself so special. When we were designing Spalding to be built, uh, we had a couple of key um, principles that we adhered to. Um, being a rehabilitation hospital and working with people uh, of all abilities, we you know, had a major commitment to inclusive design and being here on the waterfront um, in the Boston Harbor. Um, to sustainability. So on the inclusive design piece of it, um, you'll notice that all of our counters and uh, reception areas have, you know, uh, cuts for wheelchairs um, um, to be able to, you know, look eye to eye with people. All of our patient rooms, um, you know, have uh, wheelchair height accessibility. We have motion detectors on most of the doors in the hospital so that for people with limited upper extremity um, uh, mobility, they can just wave and open the door. It's really the accessibility of how easy it is for people to get around without having to fight the environment that they're in. One of the stories that I can recall may have been from one of the first year or two that somebody was out on the boat, and I think it was Leah, one of our therapeutic rec um, therapists, and taking out a patient um, who had had a stroke and being able to get her out on the netting um, of the catamaran. And that had been one of the first pictures that I'd seen of what people were doing on the boat. And um, just the sense of getting the patient to understand how she could maneuver and move around and really be able to experience being out on the water and um, feeling the, the splash of you know, the waves and the, you know, the splash of the water on her and the wind and um, that it was so meaningful for the patient. It was an experience for her that really helped her be able to kind of move forward in her rehab, um, that her life wasn't over, um, that she was still going to be able to do activities and participate in a lot of things. And um, she just came back just so relaxed and so re-energized from being out on the Impossible Dream that it was just terrific to see how what seems like, oh, you're just going out on a boat, but how meaningful that that can really actually be for a patient. Just, like, um, yeah, have a said, hand. take this opportunity to thank uh, you guys on no. the crew. When I got injured 13 years ago, I never thought that I'd be able to go on a boat and see the ocean again. I thought I'd be too afraid. But the crew here made us feel so comfortable that we could do anything. And we could feel the wind blowing on us and we could see all the things in the harbor. It was great. So thank you. Well, thank you. All right, man. Nice job. Excellent. Very good. Impossible dreams fight on Beatles.